Hey, what's up guys? Technology Brat, Twitter.com slash Technology Brat and Technology Brat.com. Of course, I have here the iPod Nano 6th generation with the multi-touch. We did the unboxing video already. And uh, I've loaded it up with a bunch of music and uh, some photos and stuff. So now we're going to go through and basically uh, kind of tour the user interface. Um, right off the bat, this is the main screen. It's got your playlist, now playing artists, and genius mixes. Uh, I did load a couple playlists in there. And as you can see here, it's just uh, I've got Just Relaxing and Morning Run. Um, there you can see you can just kind of flip through and um, check out your, your playlist. You can edit it right there if you want. If I want to remove a song from the playlist, if I decide, uh, you know, this uh, Johnny Cash song isn't really right for my uh, morning run, you can just delete it right there and boom, it's gone. I can also add different songs too to the playlist. I can just select the album I want, the song I want, whatever. Like if I want to go to Composers, specifically look for a certain composer. Um, for me, usually it's easier to, uh, oops, it's usually easier to, let's get out of there, <clears throat> edit, add, it's usually easier to go to artists, and, uh, or albums, find an album you want, let's say I want a specific Stain song on there, um, let's say I want, it's been a while, add that to it. And done. Now it's on the playlist. So just that easy to edit playlist right on there. And then drag across to get back to the screen before it. Oops. And the same thing to get back to the, the main home screen. Uh, the now playing, which uh, I guess it just pulled the first song on the list, which would be Moby since it's a number song 18. Uh, you can see it's playing right now. If I want to pause it, I can pause it. I can go to the next song. That's uh, Mudvayne, Lost and Found. Go to the next song. You know, whatever you want to do. Another Mudvayne song. You see a Coldplay song. You can see the title just kind of scrolls across there too to give you kind of a pretty cool look. You can do, um, whoops, you can drag that across there. And you can do Genius Mix right in there. I'm not even sure what that's going to do. I guess based on that song, it just created a genius playlist right there while that song was playing. I can save it, or I can just back right back out of it. And then on the main menu still, we can go to artists, um, and just scroll through the whole thing. Just all, you know, just like you would expect on an iPod. Um, to go back to the main menu, we're going to drag that off. Here's genius mixes. Uh, genius mixes are created uh, for you by iTunes and play songs from your library that go great together. To use Genius Mixes, turn it on in iTunes. And there you see. We've already it already based since we hit that Genius Mix right there. It already uh, kind of created one for us. So let's go ahead and back out of there. And let's go to the next page. You have radio. You can tune it to radio. It says uh, no radio signal. Please plug in headphones uh, for radio reception. So I guess you have to plug in the headphones to get that. Let's go ahead and do that real quick just so you can see what that's going to be like. And there you go. And then you can tune it any way you want. Here locally, let's say I want to listen to uh, 104.5 is a good station here. And boom, picking up the radio station right on the iPod. Pretty, really cool functionality. Uh, a lot of people don't listen to uh, regular over-the-air radio anymore, but... You know, hey, maybe now I will. Um, so let's back out of that. And, um, well, I can even hear that too. So let's go ahead and unplug that. And the next one is podcast. I didn't load up any podcasts. I probably should have just so you could see that. Um, photos. I did go ahead and load up a few photos so you could see what photos look like on the uh, Nano 16 gig. And uh, these are just some photos of my house after the uh, remodel. And again, this does have multi touch. So we can zoom in if we like. Or we can just go to the next photo. This is the bathroom that we redid. And this is my bedroom there. Living room. Living room. More living room. My new kitchen table that we got. Here's the office where I uh, shoot all my videos now. And uh, you'll notice that that's not an Apple iMac on my desk. One of these days it will be though. Anyway, that is... 
photos on the iPod Nano. Let's get out of that and go into settings. If you want to click about, you've got I've got 1,418 songs on here, 13 photos, the capacity is 14.8 gigs, and I still have 3.1 gigs available with all the stuff that I put on here. And now that's going to vary depending on what bit rate you guys uh, you know, encode your songs. I think I do all mine at 192, maybe even higher, I'm not really sure. Uh, music, you can have shake to shuffle on, sound check, you can turn it on or um, off however you like um, there's yeah, EQ set different little settings there if you like volume limit um, and then audio crossfade on or off so some basic settings in there in music in general you could change the wallpaper right now the default is set to the normal you know the iPhone 4 wallpaper we'll go with that orange we'll set that one on there brightness you guys know you gotta you gotta rock it bright. I'm gonna turn it down for the video here though, so you guys can still see what's going on. We'll do it like that. Get out of there. Date and time. It's got uh, all the right times. Time zone is not Des Moines. Let's go ahead and select a new time zone for us. And we gotta find one close by. Usually it's probably gonna be Dallas. Did I skip over that? And we'll, we'll pick Dallas. Even though we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma's usually not on there. 24-hour clock if we want it. Time on wake. And the clock face. You can have black or white. We'll switch it to black. We'll take a look at both of those. Uh, radio regions. Blah, blah, blah. Live pause. That's pretty cool. Uh, accessibility. Voiceover. Mono audio. White on black. And then language options that we selected whenever we first turned the device on. So let's get out of there. So a whole host of, oh, there's even more still. We haven't even got to photos, time per slide, repeat, shuffle, transition, TV signal. Uh, TV signal, what the hell is that? Yeah, nothing. Uh, pedometer, uh, which is awesome. So when I go run, it's going to track my, you know, daily steps. I can put a step goal in there. I can uh, tell it my weight if we like. Um, and then we can also reset settings. So that's all the settings. And then you can, you've got icons separate here just for songs. So it's just going to list out songs all in alphabetical order. So you can scroll through them if you like. You've also got a list of albums. Typically this is the way I like to look for music. Go to, go to the album that I want to listen to. Say I want to check out, um, yeah. Say I want to check out um, Dave Matthews every day. I want to play I Did It. Bam. There we go. Let's get out of there. Uh, you can search by Genry. Composers. And you also have the fitness. But you've got your pedometer. Basically, you just tell it to start, and then you start walking. And then it'll track your history, your personal best, your workout totals. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. And then, of course, the clock. And this is the black clock. And we can also change it to white if we like. So this is what really intrigues me the most is uh, if people come out with wrist straps or whatever so we can wear that as a watch. It would be a pretty big watch, but you know what? That would also be pretty cool too. Or if you'd be like that. Let's try and get back to the watch. I guess it'd be like that, but if we wanted it like that, we can just, since it's multi-touch, boop. Well, I guess that's upside down, isn't it? There we go. So if I wanted to wear it like that, if I had a wrist strap, whatever, pretty cool deal. Gotta love the multi-touch, even on a one inch by one inch device. Uh, that is pretty awesome. So that's uh, just your basic general user interface video, guys, just to show you uh, what it's going to look like, how it's going to operate. And uh, that's basically it, guys. This is the iPod Nano, 16 gigabyte, 6th generation, uh, with the little uh, clip on the back. I mean, it's super tiny. It's still useful. It's not too small. You can still use it very easy. And uh, it's not too small, it's not too big, it's just about the right size. I think this is a uh, really cool little device. 
and uh, I am happy to put it in my lineup. So that's it, guys. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, Twitter.com slash technology brat. Come follow me. We do giveaways on there sometimes. I'll answer any questions you guys have. Uh, just follow me and get at me on Twitter. Um, also, uh, technologybrat.com. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, doing all that you guys do for me so that uh, I can make these videos for you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that's it for me tonight, guys. And uh, take it easy.